Dave Faraday continues our storm coverage with more flooding up closer to the Piedmont. Dave. And Ken, we got about a foot of rain here south of Hickory on Long Mitchell Drive. You can see some of the damage this road taken out. In fact, let me do something real quick. I'm going to take the camera right off my tripod and just kind of walk up a little bit closer so you can see where the road collapsed here south of Hickory in the Mountain View community. Over here is the creek that flows underneath this road. And if you look there on the edge, you can see where there was actually a little bit of a mudslide. You can see how small that creek was. It was a raging river this weekend when we got that foot of rain. I talked to the DOT earlier. They say this kind of damage is something you would see during a hundred year flood. It was just lifted up and flooding. Misty Sweet showed us the flash flooding damage at her parents' home south of Taylorsville. You can see the water line on her father's garage and the muddy mess inside. Misty showed us her Facebook post from this weekend. And their car is already lifted up. This is their yard. All of their things are ruined. It's awful and we didn't plan, I mean, we didn't prepare for anything like that. We've lived here all our lives. The water has receded in most areas tonight, leaving behind a big cleanup for some going forward. Much of that water is now flowing through the Catawba River. In Broadhiss, millions of gallons of water is flowing over the dam into Lake Hickory. Already, the Department of Agriculture was out today assessing the damage. Very bad. In the localized areas, it's very bad, as you can see. <laughs> when something like this washes out, you can only imagine what that does to a crop field. Linda Beber doesn't believe insurance will cover her damage. She says she'll never forget how fast the creek rose this weekend. Half an hour later, everything was up in like a river going through. That quick. That quick. The DOT actually cut another road into this neighborhood about a quarter mile off in this direction, allowing folks to get to their homes and also to be able to leave.